it's the coach. This is preseason football on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Denver Broncos. With that, we're off to the Rocky Mountains. Standing by in Denver, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, we find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Denver Broncos. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason. And this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game. And then you've got to decide, do you bring them back after halftime and get them going again in the third quarter so they're ready to go when the regular season begins? I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. Here's the punter, Sam Martin, now ready to get us started. And in front of a raucous crowd, this one is underway. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they're led out by a guy who learned from one of the great ones in his first few years in Tom Brady. This is Jimmy Garoppolo. When you're back up to one of the all-time great players, he'll spend time picking that guy's brain or just watching and observing how he does things to increase your game, then you've wasted that time. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is that type of a player. I think those lessons learned have a chance to transmit themselves very well. A run there on first down gets three up to the 28. Give him three there on the first play of the game, but it's second down. And here's the offense now. Charles, who's the guy you chose to highlight? The tone setter, the guy in the middle, Alex Mack. His return, never good for the opposition. Here Here's second and seven now from the 28. Push him back. Push him back. Behind. The former Purdue Push Boilermaker, Raheem Mostert. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. And here's a look at the defense for Denver. Von Miller is so good that he doesn't even need a nickname. His ability to bend and dip on the pass rush, unequaled in this league. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. He finds an opening past the 40. Got his target, Samuel. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. First down, San Francisco. The pick up, 14 yards. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Another try after the first down sack. Garoppolo. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. There he goes, left side. And he will score. Touchdown, Denver. It was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. 
Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And San Francisco gets set to go here. here, we go, here Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Garoppolo to try again after the pick six. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Here we go, here we go. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Open man is hurt, it's complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack by Todd Davis. And how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Garoppolo finding his tight end, Kittle. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The Niners on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 16. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They're led out by their big-bodied electric quarterback, Cam Newton. Cam has all the skills that you're looking for, the arm that can do everything, the ability to run, hard to bring down because of his size, but the joy that he plays the game, I think that's his stock and trade. That's his calling card. That's what sets him apart from other players. Watch the pass. Right there. 54, right there, right there. 54. Right, right, right. Now Newton on first down. And his throw is incomplete. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the plan's for them to at least play into the third quarter, if not all the way through it. Yeah, it might go by feel. If they have a really good first drive to start the third quarter, they might pull them after that. If not, might leave them out there a little bit longer. But I'll guarantee this, they'll be gone by the start of the fourth quarter. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Throwing on third down, Newton. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A good pick up there of 20 yards. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Get ready, get ready. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. A big play there. 43 yards. And the Broncos push further out in front. They went five wide in that offensive set, and racing three wide's a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finished things? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. McManus now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays, and it ends with a Denver touchdown. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. But he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. You've got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Most teams in the league hitting the three-quarter pole in the preseason. The whole league will be in action next Thursday night to wrap it all up. And then we start for real a week after that with the NFL kickoff game. In our game, expect to see the starters for at least one more drive, something to look forward to as we get you back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Our starters likely to be out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in this second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20 yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. Gonna throw deep for the end zone. And this is gonna be intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. 
first possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. From the 22, here's second and eight. Again, they run with Gurley. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. From the gun on third down, Newton. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jarkwiski Tart. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This is Moster. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Now the fullback, Juszczyk. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. And he will score. Touchdown, Denver. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. McManus's point after is good, and it's now 21 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this position. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. Seven consonants, one foul. Here's Juszczyk. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second and six at the 49-yard line. That's the end of the third quarter. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. And that'll do it for the end of the third quarter. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On 
on second down, this is Harris. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. First down, and they go back to Harris. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Well, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And this is going to be 49er football. No coach or team's ever happy when someone has a turnover, but if there's ever a good time to do it, preseason. <laughs> yeah, right now. You know that come regular season, he's going to be ready to go, and maybe he'll remember, yeah, I don't want to do this when it comes time for the games to count. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And, okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. On second down, it's Harris. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. They run again with Harris. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. 
And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down Ready? huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. <laughs> to throw again Hastings and that'll be incomplete took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in couldn't hang on third down so back to back incompletions and that has him staring at a third and ten back to throw Hastings and unable to connect incomplete now give them credit they took their shot but it's going to bring up fourth down this defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. This is fielded at the 27. And Denver getting set to take the field. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. we got to play in the catch. A pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about That's six. It, it's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. So this one will wind up a Denver victory, and this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field, so you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Broncos are winners as we say so long from Denver.